It is often said by people who live in the Arctic that their communities are no longer as secure as they have been uh, for centuries. And they are a little bit frustrated that often people outside the Arctic uh, blame them for what's happening in, in the Arctic. Whereas the rest of us are perhaps more responsible than the Arctic communities. I've arrived in Shanghai straight from the Arctic Council Ministerial to uh, travel from the north of Finland, from Finnish Lapland, across the time zones to China to continue the dialogue on Arctic matters this week. That vividly illustrates how truly global the Arctic has become. The source of what happens in the Arctic is frequently not to be found in this region. Norway is not part of the Belt and Road Initiative, nor the Polar Silk Road framework, but we will look at individual projects based on their economic and sustainable merits. Iceland is taking over the chairmanship at a crucial time in Arctic affairs. It is uncontested that temperatures in the Arctic are rising at more than twice the average global rate, and Arctic warming trends are expected to continue towards the mid-century. According to scientists, Trends after 2050 will depend on today's mitigating actions. As a fishing nation, Icelanders and Icelandic fisheries companies feel the effects of these developments dramatically, with changes in the migration and availability of fish stocks in our waters. We are living in a world in which the ability to innovate and adapt to change is not a luxury, it's a necessity. The challenges that we are facing and the Arctic Circle has highlighted and put on the global agenda is of such nature that we need to think out of the box. We need to promote science, research, every time we possibly can. Because if we don't do it, it might be too late.